Huge thanks to everybody that helped on the putty party for Zed Sled. We've got it body worked and collectively we've got about 80 hours into getting this thing ready for the next stage, which is high build polyester surfacer. Poly surfacers to me are the last step in body work because they build like crazy and allow you to finally block and flatten everything out, crisp up the style lines, and they don't shrink back and it's the perfect undercoat for your final sanding primers. Let me show you what I'm talking about. These are two pucks of overmix of a 2K urethane and high build polyester. Look at the difference. The 2K, well, it's already started to shrink and suck itself back and kind of crumble and fall apart even after a couple of weeks. However, the, the hockey puck of high build poly, you could hammer nails with this sucker and check this out. It hasn't shrunk back a bit. They were both shot and the overmix was in the same container, the PPS cup. That's shrunk back quite a bit and it's crumbling. It's continuing to shrink over its cure cycle. This stuff, uh-uh. This is what I want as my foundation for primer surfacer on the body of Zed Slate. Now your polyester surfacers, it's really important that you have it thoroughly agitated and mixed. If you got a shaker, good for you. If you don't, just stir the heck out of it, make sure nothing comes up on the stick. Now there's a mix ratio for this. It's 5% by volume. Well, if you don't have a scale, it's a little hard to tell. Here's the easy thing that I've figured out. They give you two of these per gallon of poly surfacer, four quarts, two quarts for each. I just mix a quart and pour the half of this in and you've got the right mix ratio. Pretty simple. You don't have nitrile gloves, get them from Eastwood. Protect it. No glove, no love. And the pour it lids solve a problem that I've had for years in body shops and that's how to get your surfacer out of a full gallon. It's a really trick setup. Ready to pour. So I'm mixed. I'm pulling a full quart. A little more. All right, now I've got an accurate mix ratio. I'm using a huge orifice gun. This is a 2.5 tip and it sprays out well, it sprays out pretty, pretty aggressively. You're going to use a lot of it, so make sure you got enough for your project. And don't forget your mask. Spray technique with a high build poly surfacer is very different than paint. Your gun speed is slow, your overlap is about 75%, and you're fairly close to the substrate. Take your time spraying and don't worry about stacking the primer surfacer. That's what this stuff is made for. You won't get pinholes, and it will rarely ever run on you. When you're priming large areas of a car like this, you're not concerned so much about overspray or keeping your wet edges down. That's kind of immaterial. You're focusing on the panel that you're spraying and then moving on to the next one. In essence, you're zone priming at the same time as you're priming the entire panel. Keep in mind that a good portion of this surfacer is going to end up on the floor because it's not paint, it's body filler. You just happen to be spraying it on the panel. Three coats should be plenty enough for an initial blocking and to allow you to see how straight the car is. We will probably end up doing a second session of poly primer before we move on to a 2K. When you're wanting to make a vehicle as straight as we want to make Zed Sled, I consider this a mandatory and necessary step. So we've got a gallon of contour high build poly surfacer on this car. Can we sand it and paint it? No, the work is, well, it's about halfway done because most of this stuff just by the nature of the beast, is going to end up in powder on the floor. So we're going to use a spray guide coat, guide coat everything, block the heck out of it, see if there's any pinholes we missed, any waves, any dents that we missed, and then move on to the high build 2K, which thankfully Eastwood makes in black, and then we'll block that again, and then, and only then, we'll be ready for paint.